Hi there, everybody, and good afternoon. Welcome now to the second segment of my Scooby-Doo 50th Anniversary Special. This is also the fifth part overall, in which we're now going to play another game of the Scooby-Doo Funland of Freaky Frights DVD game. Game. If you, uh, you're, if, For those of you who watched yesterday, I showed you my entire Scooby-Doo collection, and now we're going to play the game. So, let's get started once again. To continue 55 decades of great mysteries that the gang has solved. Oh. Let's do it. Oh shit, here's the... According to my calculations, it shouldn't be too much further. We haven't made this trip to Funland since Scooby's last birthday. Scooby doesn't. <laughs> like I don't know about you guys, but I can hardly wait for all these delicious cotton candy, triple decker fun, sardine sundaes, and hot dogs. <laughs> hot dogs. Man, I wish we were already there. Looking, there's a sign. Funland is just up ahead. The newspaper story I read this morning said that attendance at the park was down because of reported sightings of a mysterious ghost clown. I think this calls for an investigation. <laughs> a ghost clown? You can count me out! <laughs> me too? Jinkies, this place looks abandoned. Then I say we abandon it too. Abandoned. It's just another word for <gasps> haunted. <laughs> haunted. Jeepers, this sure is spooky. The ghost clown must have scared everyone away. This is the first time I've never wanted to go to Funland. <laughs> Don't be silly, Shaggy. There's no such thing as a ghost. Well, gang, it looks like we have a mystery to solve. We have a lot of questions that need answers and a lot of clues to uncover. So, let's go. All right, tell us about this gang. All right, let's get started. It's up to you. Freddy's right. If you want to help us solve the ghost clown mystery, select story mode. To try an individual activity first, select the activities button. Where do you want to go first? Like me and Scoob want to head straight for the cotton candy machine. <gasps> well, Freddy. Let's do it. Story mode we go again. will be helping us solve this mystery. Like, I'd like to know how many of you want to grab an anchovy and cherry pizza. Again, just me playing, Fred. So, t you take it from there. Okay, player one. We need your help to find clues and catch the creepy ghost clown. Search these four locations and uncover clues along the way. And together, we'll get to the bottom of this mystery. Where do you want to go to search for clues? Well, since Shag and Scoob are so hungry, let's go back to the Scoob Groovy Snack Shack. Hey, Scoob! All this running around for monsters and searching for clues has made me hungry. Me too. Like, what do you say we check out what's on the menu at the Groovy Snack Shack and make ourselves a super delicious Scooby Snack? Scooby Doo. That's a good sandwich to eat if you have those ingredients. Now that's what I call a mouthful. Hey, Scoob, I want one too. How do you make that? Yeah, Scoob, it was food all right, but I want somebody to make one with exactly the same foods. Like, can you recall what Scooby put on the bottom of that sandwich? Well, I know it's the liverwurst, but before I select it... Yep. Well, what do you know? 
you remembered? Now, what food item goes in the middle? <laughs> Blank sounds like one scrumptious choice, Scooby-Doo. But unfortunately, root beer isn't one of the options. Of course it's not. We only got the Swiss cheese and two ice cream flavors. A sandwich? That doesn't work out. Like man, I'd make a decision if I were you. This should just about the mustard. Here we go. That's like one crazy sandwich, just like Scooby's. You are one master chef. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Now what do you say we get back to hiding from that creepy ghost clown? Okay, Fred, your turn to talk. Hey, gang, this scrap of paper we found could be a clue. As you get closer to solving this mystery, part of the message on the paper will be revealed. Let's see what it says. To sniff out. Hang on, gang. Why does this remind me of when we were in that sticky situation at the Wax Museum? Hmm, I don't know, Fred. It's Roger Stevens, the TV station manager. Yeah, but we solved that mystery. And we can figure out this one, too. We just gotta keep looking for clues. That's what we have to do, Fred. That's why you're the, you're leading this. But let's watch what happens when you select the place that we already got a clue from. Here's an example. I'll do this two more times as well. By my calculations, we've already found a clue here. Let's try somewhere else. Uh, yes, we gotta go elsewhere, Velma. Let's now head over to Madame Mystery's Fortunes. mystery. The only mystery is why we have to go near this spooky place. Right, Scoop? <laughs> spooky. Welcome, my pretties. Welcome. Come in. Okay. Did you didn't take a seat? Like I'd rather ditch her in to a nice chewy sandwich. My no. crystal ball holds the clue. A secret sign just for you. Like I'm hoping it's a sign to the snack shop. <laughs> we already been there. Come on, I know you can figure this out, but can you figure it out in time, my pretty? Mm, this this looks like a you better put critter. your groove on and get a move on, so, man. I think I got this. You got that answer by the tail. Were you able to make out the clue? Yes, indeed, Velma. Let's get to the bottom of this ghost clown mystery. All right, Fred, reveal the second part of the clue. Let's take another look at that scrap of paper. The identity of... Wow, Scoob. Remember those scary monsters we came across at that spooky museum? I never knew our hair could get that high. Could I ever forget that mystery? But we better keep searching for more clues. Two more clues to go, Velma. Let's select that back in town. This place looks familiar. Maybe we should try somewhere else. Yeah, we will go somewhere else, Daphne. Hey, 
But we'll go to our next location in the next part. So stick around for that.